Hi, Richard from the Phoenix Society, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about some rapier 101 stuff. First thing we're going to look at is stance and guards. And we're mostly based off the Giganti manuals. Uh, this will be pretty much generic Italian 17th century rapier. So the first thing we had to do is bring your heels together, like so, this little line. You take a comfortable step, step out just a little bit, back way. Hand can stay up here for blocking and parrying. Now, if you want it, heels in line or heels more over, that's fine. The way I do it is because I often use my hand for, for slapping from time to time, I have it out like this. Or if you have a dagger, you could definitely want to do that. If you're going to keep this hand completely out of the fight, I don't think there's any problem being like so. From the side, it looks like here. Step. Good. Alright, for footwork, we don't need to start that. Advance retreat. You want to try to stay level. You don't want to bounce as you advance. So you're just going to push that front forward. Retreat. Always being ready to go back into your stance. For a pass, that's when the rear foot becomes the front foot. A couple ways to do it. The foot's still turned. It's fine. Or the foot straight. Also fine. Pass back, which is often used if someone tries to take your leg. So simple. This is this is kind of a universal. Foot just goes out here. Get in the habit of sticking your arm out because you're going to try to hit him in the head every time they go for your leg. Boy. In this case, someone tries to stab you on the outside, which is this side of your sword. What you're going to do? The front foot is going to turn and move. Sword comes out. So you're going to try to impale your opponent and cover yourself at the same time. Works the other direction. Foot will still turn this way. Hand's going to cover this way. You're inside. Then there's the incartata. We call it the rock star. Up down like this. Bring your inside back foot. Go here. Hand comes around. Sword covers and protects and tries to impale the guy. So imagine you're open on the inside. Someone makes a mistake of, of thinking you're, you're free to go. Good to go. And the lunge we covered in another video from uh, Tattershall showed that. So that's where you pick up the lunge from. But for footwork, it's pretty simple stuff. Forward, back. Pass forward. Pass back. Void to the left, void to the right, incartata. That's your core basics.